During sleepless nights in 2008 and 2009, many investors asked themselves, why didn't I cut my losses earlier? The purpose of this video is to review the importance of managing downside risk in your investment portfolio. Hopefully, the bull market will regain traction, but hope is not an investment strategy that works well in a bear market. We need more than hope. Conversations around the investment water cooler sound something like this today. Why should I care about government debt issues in the United States, Italy, and Spain? It won't impact earnings, and corporations are healthy right now. My stock should be fine. Those conversations around the water cooler today sound eerily familiar to what we heard back in 2007. Why should I care about problems with banks and mortgages? I don't own bank stocks, and housing won't impact other industries. My stock should be fine. A quick review of how the mortgage crisis spread through the economy will allow us to illustrate some possible parallels with the government debt problems we face today. Problems in the housing and mortgage markets negatively impacted banks, which in turn hurt bank stocks. Weakness in bank stocks led to an increase in risk aversion, which hurt all sectors of the stock market. When the stock market and 401k balances began to plummet, consumer confidence plummeted too. Low levels of consumer confidence reduced the desire to invest, consume, and spend, which ultimately impacted corporate earnings in a negative manner. It's easy to understand how problems with debt in the United States and Europe could cause the economic and investment dominoes to fall in a similar manner if the debt crisis cannot be contained. Fear of possible defaults and political gridlock hurts banks around the globe, which in turn negatively impacts bank stocks and the entire stock market. Lower balances in brokerage, corporate, and 401k accounts makes people feel less confident about their future. Consumers that are not confident tend to spend and invest less, which puts a drag on earnings growth. Weak earnings tend to reduce the demand for stocks, and around and around we go stuck in a negative feedback loop, just as we were in 2007 and 2008. The purpose of this exercise is to emphasize that risk management strategies may become very important again if current government debt problems cannot be contained. To see if you are looking at managing losses or protecting gains in a rational manner, in the slides that follow, replace the terms mortgage and housing with government debt. What does Coke have to do with mortgages? I don't need to sell. Mortgages and banks don't have anything to do with iPod sales. Apple stock will be just fine. When markets and the economy get into a negative feedback loop, almost no sector of the market is immune to the selling. Ford shareholders had a tough time in the last bear market. Shares fell 89%. Sometimes dividend paying stocks are sold to investors as a way to protect themselves against a bear market. Unfortunately, this was a common refrain in 2006 and 2007. Even if the mortgage crisis gets bad, my dividend paying stocks will do just fine. In the last bear market, from its highest high to its lowest low, McDonald's fell 31%. J&J, 35%. Procter & Gamble fell 39%. While it was sold to many investors as a blue chip dividend payer, GE in the last bear market acted more like a bank, falling 85% from its highest high to its lowest low. Do you and your advisor have a specific plan in place to protect your assets? If the answer is no, it's time to develop one, or time to look for a new advisor. The material in this video has no regard to the specific investment objectives, financial situation, or particular needs of any viewer. This video is presented solely for informational purposes and is not to be construed as a solicitation or offer to buy or sell any security or any related financial instruments nor should any of the content be taken as investment advice. 
Any opinions expressed in this video are subject to change without notice, and Shivaco Capital Management, LLC, or CCM, is not under any obligation to update or keep current the information contained herein. CCM and its respective officers and associates or clients may have an interest in the securities or derivatives of any entities referred to in this material. CCM accepts no liability whatsoever for any loss or damage of any kind arising out of the use of all or any part of this material. We recommend that you consult with a licensed and qualified professional before making any investment decision.